Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies, man. Today we're going to talk about who I think the Saints should sign. Um, two positions on this list, and if we sign two of these guys, I think it'll put us at a, a near perfect all season, which would be, I mean, superb in Dennis Allen's first year, uh, you know, taking over the head coaching job. We'll jump right into it, man. The first position we're going to talk about is the defensive tackle position. Um, obviously, Anyamata, he's going to be your number one guy right there. But the number two guy, that second defensive tackle on the team is still up in the air, man. We have Jaleel Johnson, um, Shai Tuttle, some other guys. But, man, we, we don't have a solid, solid number two. And that brings me right to Akeem Hicks. Now, obviously, Akeem Hicks was drafted by the Saints uh, third round 2012, man. Uh, and he was traded for who, man? I don't know if y'all remember who, man, the tight end that played for the Saints. But Akeem Hicks, man, pro bowler in uh, 2018. He's 32 years old, so he's not super, super old. Or anything like that. So, man, he still got some good years, you know, left under his belt. Uh, and I think he'll just be a great addition to the team, man. He's a really solid player. He's a big boy. He can stuff the run. Not only that, sometimes he can get after the quarterback, man, and get interior pressure, you know, from that defensive tackle position. That will be a great, great look for the Saints because, obviously, I, we have three guys that are elite pass rushers, in my opinion, already with Cam Jordan, Anyamata, and uh, Marcus Davenport. So just having that already in your two, uh, in your arsenal, and you add Akeem Hicks, it'll be a great addition. Next up, another defensive tackle. I'm gonna say Sheldon Richardson. Um, now Sheldon Richardson, a former first round pick to the Jets. He was kind of a tweener with them in that three four system, a defensive end, defensive tackle hybrid guy. I mean, he's a hell of a player. Uh, went to the Vikings after that, had a really really good uh, stint with them as well. And if we can bring him in, um, he's he'll he'll be my number two option on this list behind the Keem Hicks for the defensive tackles. But he would be a super, super solid option, man. He was the rookie of the year in 2013, first round pick, all of those things. So he has the talent. He's a really, really good player, like 31, 32 years old as well. Can play defensive and defensive tackle. Almost what we did with Anyamata last year, kind of put him inside, outside. That will be another good addition to the team. I think he'll start right away. If Akeem Hicks came, he'll start right away. So, man, I think we do need to sign another defensive tackle. Uh, and we'll see what the Saints do about it. I think the second position that I'll name is obvious as well. I think it will need to be a running back. I do believe we need to add a running back to the roster, man. Obviously, Elvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, Tony Jones Jr., Abram Smith, uh, Dwayne Washington. Those are the guys, you know, on the roster right now. Elvin Kamara's probably getting suspended. Well, I shouldn't even say probably. Elvin Kamara's definitely getting suspended by the NFL. Mark Ingram's getting older. We've seen enough from Dwayne Washington, Tony Jones Jr. Then you have rookie April Smith. So I think we do need to bring in a veteran running back. And the number two guy on my list would be Daryl Williams. Obviously, we've talked about him before, man. LSU Tiger. Uh, real good back, but... For me, he's more of a receiving back, which is not a bad thing at all, but he's more of a receiving back. Um, he's I think he's never averaged over four yards to carry. And playing in Kansas City offense, you know, that's kind of a letdown, I would say, because, I mean, you got Tyreek Hill, Kelsey, this and that. So uh, he played he played well last year, though, man. He only averaged 3.9 yards to carry, but he can catch the ball out the backfield, man. Uh, he can be used as a receiving back. And one thing I do like about him, man, he's only had one fumble in four years. That's a that's excellent for a running back, especially for a, a young running back right there. And uh, the other running back I, I'll look, I'll take a look at about the Saints, man, Devontae Booker. He's more of a a dual threat running back, as in I think he's a better runner than Daryl Williams. Uh, Daryl Williams may be a better pass catcher out the backfield, but Devontae Booker doesn't lack, you know, in that area. Uh, he played for the Giants, averaged four yards to carry with them. I think that's a good thing because the Giants' offensive line is nowhere near as good. They don't have the weapons, the quarterback, the receivers. You know, he played well when uh, Saquon Barkley got hurt. He jumped in there, man. I actually picked him up on my fantasy team. So I do remember him playing well, you know, in a couple games. He has uh, 162 catches in his career. So he's just a solid player, man. He's not like a home run hitter. He won't, you know, break the internet if the Saints sign him. But he's a really, really solid player. Uh, kind of forgot about in his free agency just because running backs are just always an afterthought of you're not a top tier guy. So, man, we'll see what the Saints do. But I do think we need to sign a defensive tackle and a running back. Um... Maybe another linebacker if they want to just get crazy, uh, but I didn't want to do linebacker just because we just signed one in Eric Wilson. So, man, defensive tackle, running back. If it's any other guys at those positions that y'all think we should sign, man, let me know in the comments below. And as always, this is the Boot Tragedy, and I'm out.